Kia ora. It's a lovely day for a ride here in Wellington, New Zealand. Um, my new Krieger dry packs just arrived, which was a replacement for a Rhino Walk 20 litre. And I'm now in the unique position of being able to give you a bit of a tour of both of them and show you the difference if you're thinking about going one way or another. So, uh, on the left here, this one here, that is a Krieger 20 litre dry pack. The uh, one on the right, Rhino Walk, is from AliExpress, so the relative difference in New Zealand dollars. Uh, this one was about 270 New Zealand dollars, and I think this one from memory was about 70 New Zealand dollars, so it's a huge difference between the two. I first looked at the Rhino Walk uh, ones because I borrowed this one from my beloved brother in law, uh, which was a Krieger 30. It was awesome, I loved it, but I couldn't afford it, so I went and got one of these. So I've now had this one um, riding, uh, commuting that is, almost daily for about six months. Uh, I had a bit of a waterproofing failure um, the other week, so um, I bit the bullet and went and got one of these. Major difference is size, actually, although they're both listed as 20 litres, um, this one, the Krieger, is actually a bit smaller. So at the end of this video, I'll do a fit test with some of the stuff I might normally carry to work. Um, so you can see the uh, Rhino Walk is both longer and a little bit wider. So good to know if you're kind of carrying a bit of bulky stuff with you. The main reason um, I ended up having to um, upgrade here is that um, this lining here had a bit of a failure and my gear got a little damp on the inside. Um, so that's a great place to look to start with. So the, um, the Krieger here is actually really really thick that liner there it's um velcroed in this one here is zipped in and it's really just kind of feels like um almost like rain wear um there is uh there is a little bit of seam sealing in there so it's a bit of nothing um the fabric itself again significant difference in the thickness of the toe um really hard to tell visually but you can tell if i pinch it like that see the difference in feel um, this was unfortunately when my, um, my pack really had an issue, uh, everything in here got absolutely soaked and took a while to come out. So they both do have um, a sealed zip in here, um, but once again just noting we've got inside the Krieger there's uh, a more waterproof liner in there, whereas this one's um, I guess sort of uh, more like a standard liner that you might find on probably on non-waterproof pants. Um, so fixing wise you can definitely see where the inspiration has come from. They're very very similar. Um, I don't know yet if I can clip them both together but I'm probably not going to try in the next little while. Um, strap wise we've got uh, a couple of differences here. So this is the pack loop. Uh, if I compare that to the Krieger one. There's quite a difference in thickness there, um, and uh, the, the weight difference is not terribly noticeable. Um, but to me, to my hands, this one here feels cooler, which um, suggests it's got a higher metal component potentially. Uh, and we've got one strap keeper versus two on these ones here. Uh, the thickness of the webbing, which just goes genuinely throughout um, the two products, the thickness of the Krieger webbing is is more, um, and it's stiffer. Uh, so pack loops, that was the other thing that I noticed. Um, sorry, the, uh, the fixing loops. Whoops. These ones here, um, they're fine. They did the job. They held it onto the bike. That's all good. Uh, but they're actually quite short. So when you go and stick them together to get two underneath your seat, I found them a little bit short. So I was really um, pulling them to their limits, and which was a little bit of a worry, but like I said, I never actually had any problems. So you can see the difference uh, between the two there. So two of those versus two of those, and it gives you quite a lot more width across the bike. Um, and in terms of the straps, probably the last thing I notice, um, Hi Pico, that's my um, pillion passenger over there. 
the uh, Rhino Walk, which is actually awesome, comes with two shoulder straps. That makes sense for me um, because I use it a lot uh, in a work scenario. So even if I'm not taking the bike, I might take the back. Backpack straps are real handy. The Krieger doesn't give you that option in the same way. What it gives you is a shoulder strap and a waist strap, which is a little bit weird if you're a commuter. So what I might do is take one of those and take it with me. Um, so on the back here, um, not gonna lie, I do actually like the Rhino Walk setup better here, especially if you're carrying a little bit of wet, wettish stuff with you, if you've got um, either wet shoes or swimming gear or whatever. Uh, this is slightly bigger and easier to get into. Um, the only trick though is that it needs to be secured when you do the top rollover. Um, which means the rest of the time it's actually not all that great for storing things in because it can come out. Uh, this one here, um, it's significantly smaller in terms of, like, if you want to chuck a pair of shoes, you're probably out of luck in that one there. Uh, but it does have a zip, so anything that you put into it is going to be secure. Um, just other cool things you notice um, when you're up in the quality is we've got uh, reinforced buckle holders. Versus, uh, versus these ones, which are sewn in. You can see um, the wear that's been starting on here after about six months. So what I'll do though, is probably check back in on this with the Krieger in another six months and see if it's showing the same signs of wear. So I'm just gonna put this down for a tick and do a quick stuff test with these bits here, which is what I'd normally take to work. Um, I probably won't try putting the pants in because I really don't think they're gonna fit in this bad boy here, but hey, you never know. Okay, I've actually rebuilt that stuff test because I found um, a couple of interesting things along the way. So what I will do is I will now pack the equivalent gear in both of these and then show you how that turned out. Here we go, side by side packed and you can really see the size difference between the two. Again, not gonna lie, this was actually a little bit of a little bit of a squeeze. We're in. We're not we're not completely um, chocker, but I wouldn't be adding anything extra in there. Let's just say someone gave me an amazing bottle of wine at work, it wouldn't fit. This one here actually has um, saved me with a little bit of shopping, a um, bit of milk or whatever along the way because it's just a little bit more flexible in its top area, but it's just something to look at as well um, so you can see the form of this I mean I know it's newer but the form is a lot squarer and stiffer which gives a bit more structure around the bag when you carry it this guy here um, does work to carry but but it's quite um, the fabric itself is, is quite soft um, this was a bit of a difference on the sides if I turn them over so back to back um, this one here does not have an adjustable top strap, so your capacity is your capacity. This one here, I've been able to move it up and cinch it down, um, which is really actually quite handy. Um, but what you kind of trade off is the stability and balance of the top of the bag. So this one you can see is quite a lot more forward, and this one's further back. You notice when you pick them up, that one tends to swing towards the back, which is a bit of a pain. And, oh, actually, I lie. That one does too. <laughs> right, so, um, like I said, if you're going for size, that one's actually great. Um, that would probably be just about all I'd say uh, about those two scenarios. If you carry much more than I do, um, almost consider looking at the 30 like at first I thought that was really massive but when I packed it uh, and rolled it all down it actually fitted my gear quite nicely it didn't feel too much bigger than the Rhino Walk 20. So what I'll do is I will take this gear and I'll put it in here and then I'll just show you the difference between those because you might actually want to size up if you're carrying the odd extra bits. So here is the 30 uh, the 30 Krieger and the 20 Rhino Walk packed together and both cinched down to carry the same gear. Um, reasonable fit takes up obviously the same amount of space in the end. 
This one looks a little better, but I think that's uh, by the by. So one thing I've um, no uh, noticed and hadn't told you on the other one is that the Rhino Walks got this carry loop here, which I actually used to use heaps, so I'll be a little bit frustrated trying to um, change my routine when I'm running late for work. Um, but I'm sure we'll be okay. This one also has a secondary carry strap here. Now, the only time I, I would use that is by putting that buckle underneath there, which seemed to work okay. So you could actually grab both of those handles at the same time. And it was really convenient. Not an option on the Krieger. But yeah, so again, if you've got to pick up a bit of extra milk or whatever on the way home, this one would probably be a better bet. Well, thanks for watching. The sun's actually gone now, so I better get a wriggle on. Catch you later. Bye.